Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Okay, okay, my brothers. We're going to talk about this cat, Jason Black. If that's his real name, I keep saying that, man, because the dude is really, uh, he's really an anonymous figure. That's why I have his little avatar as Dark Vader, Dark Vader, because, I mean, that's all he is. He, he's a he's a shadowy creep um, feature or, or, or character that, that nobody really knows who this person is or how this person look, right? He just a... Uh, uh, a guy that's online talking a whole bunch of crap about people, right? So anyway, after he made comments about Erica about doing her daughter taking that picture that you see, I'm actually sitting in front of the other picture. I got my big head. Let me, let, let me see if I can move me around a little bit so, so you can see the other picture. You know what I'm saying? That's the other picture that that's Erica Badu and her daughter Puma. You know, um... After he made comments about that, calling it, talking about Erica Badu was in a discount bin and all this kind of stuff. Man, Erica Badu has lived a better life than this dude would ever live. This lady has classic songs that will be played forever. And out here in Dallas, man, she's still DJ with all these white white folks. Love her out here, man. She's active with these people. She she's a DJ. You know what I'm saying? She don't even worry about that. Her, her and her band still play. They they get together. They they do gigs. They be at the free man a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? I mean. She, she's living her life, bro. It's you, Jason Black, that's not living your life. It's you that is 48 years old, never been married, and have no biological children. I'm going to spin, spin back to that in a second, right? I'm, I'm going to come back to that. The DOC is Erica Badu's daughter's father. And I followed the DOC since he came out, and I didn't even know that. You know why I didn't know that? Because I don't be in these people's personal life. I don't care about their personal life. Just keep making some music, bro. And he lost his voice after the accident, so he ain't really made no music since. But I mean, when he was rapping, I was up on all his stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, it is what it is. But as far as his personal life go, I never looked into it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just... It's not what I do. I have no concerns about these people's personal lives, right? So anyway, Jason does his usual thing. He, he recklessly talks about that girl and, and, and Erica about doing her daughter. And the DOC got wind of it and got mad. <clears throat> so he came on his show to talk to him. Now, the first thing the DOC says is, is interesting because as popular as Jason, Jason is, this is what I try to tell people. As popular as he is, the his 60,000, 70,000 people, that's a lot of people to y'all. But that's nobody in the grand scheme of the population of this country. His 70,000, 80,000, you know, people who listen to his videos, that's a lot of people in the world of YouTube or social media. That's not a lot of people outside. The DOC said he never even heard of Jason. He didn't know who he was. So... The first thing DOC asks is his name. Then he asks him, are you married, bro? And Jason ch chimes in, no, I've never been married, and I have no biological children. Now, Jason stressed the word biological. He, he offered that, which tells me that he's a stepdaddy. See, you can't imagine no dude like him adopting no children. I mean, I don't know him personally, but just listening to his mentality, I can't see him adopting no children. But it's possible at some point he met a chick that had a child and he got close to that child and he's still claiming that child as his own, right? Because he has no biological children. So you about to push 50 years old, you've never been married, you have no biological children, but you sit online and you criticize the lives of people who are married and how they do it. You, you criticize the parenting skills of people who have children and how they do it. But you yourself 
have no children, no biological children, and you've never been married. You see, that's what you call a contradiction of sorts. This dude should not be casting his opinion on anything like that because he don't know what he's talking about. And the DOC actually points that out. He says, I will play the clip for you that you hear DOC talk, but you know he lost his voice, so his voice is really hard to understand. So I, I, I actually had something lined up to play, but I'm not going to play it. But the DOC actually said, bro, you know, when you are married and when you have children, then you speak about these things from a place of knowing. Right now, all Jason speaks on is ideology. He speaks from belief. He speaks from disappointment. He speaks from emotion because he don't know nothing else. He don't have any other, he don't have any other foundation in which he could draw from. There is nothing he could draw from. Men like Jason Black are the problem. So anyway, as DOC is talking, Jason tried to get slick and asked the DOC, well, do you know any woman that's no good? I mean, first of all, but let me, let me tell y'all something as an older dude. I have no idea what kind of childish ass question is that, bro. You know what? I'm cursing on this one. Fuck that. No grown ass man is going to sit there and... and do you know any woman that's no good? Have you ever... Come on, man. That's stupid, bro. We know people that are not right. We've all met people that are not right. This is not about women. Your disappointments in life, Jason, is because of your choices, bro. You chose to pursue a certain path that has you now at almost 50 years old with no children. Talk about, I just wouldn't do that willy-lilly because that's your legacy. There is no legacy, man. That's white folk talking points. There is no legacy in life, man. Each one of us live our own lives for our own selves. Your job is to hand down the gift of life. Your job is like a relay race, a baton. Your job is to hand it down to somebody else so they can get their shot at this experience. That's all it is. There is no legacy, bruh. See, that's the problem with you dudes. You dudes don't even understand the fundamentals of life. He told me he wouldn't do it really, literally, you know, getting married and having children, one of the most important decisions you can make. No, it is not. Most of the time we marry without even knowing we married. Most of the time the children just pop up like weed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you don't really plan for every aspect of life. See, you dudes, y'all not living. See, when you are living, life happens as you live. Things just happen as you live. Y'all are under the mindset that everything is planned out to the T. That's not how it goes. That's why y'all never going to get nowhere, man. Because you don't control this stuff. Too much of the stuff that we deal with, we have no control over, bro. Including the person that you date or marry. They are human beings living their own experience. Now, either y'all come together at some point and live that experience for whatever long period or for however long it lasts together, or y'all live it separately. But y'all still live in your own experiences. And a man would understand that. Well, I guess a man who's never been married wouldn't understand that. You know, because for all he talks, and this is the same thing I said about Umar. For all the stuff this dude talks, how judgmental he is about how the, the looks of other women. Like I said, he throwing Lisa Ray up the tone, but she's ugly. For, for all of that, he has no woman. And y'all listen to this dude. This dude got no woman. Why in the hell are y'all sitting up here listening to a dude rant and rave who don't have a woman? Y'all want to be like him? Because the only result you're going to get from his leadership is being just like him. And unless that's your goal, you better jump ship. Black man, unless he is your goal, 50, 48 years old, staring down 50 with no kids and no wife, unless that is your goal, you need to jump ship. Because trust me, it don't matter how you are. If a woman could stand being around you, he would have a woman. But how do you know that he don't just have a woman? They just not legally married. Oh man, save it, bro. Save it. No woman can't stand being around that nigga, bro. You can listen to him and tell that, man. Dude is an ass, bro. Dude is an ass, man. No woman can't stand being around him, man. He don't have a woman because of the way he is. And all y'all following this dude down that path, y'all gonna be just like him. So the DOC, he points out a lot of flaws 
in the way Jason does things. Like the DOC was saying, bro, it's not so much that I disagree whatever you, you, you say your, your, your end goal is, but the way you go about doing it. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. But let me rewind a little bit. I got away from that point about do you know any woman that's no good? When he said that my wife was actually standing by me, I said, watch how the DOC answered this question. You can ask her. I said, watch how he answered that question. Watch. Because I know a real one when I see one. I know a real one when I hear one speak. That's why I got that fucking pookie behind my head. And with Darth, Darth Vader talking about fucking Pookie because that's how y'all feel about brothers like me and DOC. But I knew he was going to answer that question correctly. And what he said was this. He said, bro, truthfully, who am I to judge somebody else how they do life? As long as they're not hurting me or nobody else, who am I to say that they're doing life wrong? You know what I'm saying? Just because they're not doing it the way I would do it. Or just because they're not doing it the way I believe it should be done. That's their life. They got a right to travel it the way they travel it. Now, is this not the same type of way I explain things? And I told my wife he was going to answer that question right. Jason thought he had a, a, a gotcha moment. But let me ask you this. Do you know any woman that's no good? That's a silly question coming from a grown-ass man. Y'all listen to him. That is a childish ass question. He sound like a six year old asking a question like that. No grown ass man gonna ask no dumb ass question like that, bro. Because what does it matter? What does it matter if he met a woman that's no good? Who cares? You meet people that's no good. I've been shot by dudes that were no good. One of the times I got shot, it was by a dude that I used to run with. He turned on me and tried to snake me. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that subject, though. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we meet people that's no good as we journey through life. Everything is not about some war between men and women. Jason ain't nothing but another red pill dude, bro. He is y'all in the future. Y'all keep listening to him. That's going to be y'all future. Now, does you want my experience or you want his experience? Because I'm the dude. I'm the pookie. That has dated women with all level, uh, 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 levels of education, all levels of professional jobs and careers, all races from over 25, 26 different countries. Now, you want that experience or you want his experience? Sitting around here trying to be an activist. I'm going I'm to I'm rip into that too. I don't want to get too deep into that, man. But what makes these people activists is disappointments in their life. Because an activist don't really want change. You got to understand, activists don't want change. An activist wants a seat at the table. They are begging and trying to guilt trip the powers that be to give them a seat at the table. A revolutionary don't want change. What a revolutionary wants is the same system, but they want themselves to be in a more favorable position in the system. They want to swap out one system for another system, but they still want the system. They still want control mechanisms over the people. It's just that they want to be the ones in control. But the rebel, the rebel is something different. The rebel is a whole nother animal. The rebel is the one that wants no system. The rebel is the one that wants complete freedom, that wants to be autonomous. That the only thing he wants to bow to is his creator. The only thing he wants to answer to is his nature. That's the rebel. The rebel don't want a system. The rebel don't want a seat at the table of this system. The rebel don't want to replace this system with another system. The rebel wants out. That's the difference. These activists don't want out of this system. That's why all they talk about is money. Umar Johnson. Reza Islam. Dr. Wesley Muhammad. Money, 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 money. Dr. Claude Anderson. Dr. Boyce Watkins. Money, 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 money. Or is he the education on top of that? Dr. T. Hassan Johnson. You know, the Black Channel. All these dudes. It's money, 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 and education. Social economics, which is all, all of it. Social economics actually cover it all. That's all they're about because they don't want out of this system. They don't look at this madness and look at homeless people out there on the streets and have tears in their eyes. All they want is a favorable seat in the system. 
I want out of it. I want it gone. I don't want this stuff to go on no more. But for that to happen, we need real men. We can't have men like Jason Black that at almost 50 years old, sitting online talking about how women look. Talk about are there any no good women. Childish. I bet, I bet almost all his listeners are under the age of 30. That says everything right there. I bet he don't have a listener above 40, bro. No grown man can listen to that dude. He's childish. You are not going to do nothing with a man like that in your ear. And all this fake revolution stuff, he all this fake activism he do. Man, you ain't doing nothing, bro. First of all, you're anonymous. Nobody really know who you are. Second of all, you ain't making no changes, bro. Begging these people for something, man. We beyond that, man. This stuff needs to give. Life is getting harder and harder to survive in every year on a planet of plenty. We got homeless people, hungry people on a planet of, of a planet of plenty. And all you can do is sit around and worry about if they, are, are there any no good women in the world? Nigga, you got fucking problems. You got fucking problems, bro. There's something wrong with that dude. That's 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 your problem. You know why he thinks like that though? Because he don't have a woman. He can't find a woman that can stand being around his ass. And can't you see why? His childish ass. And he get all these dudes. DOC said one of his acolytes actually said something to him. The DOC read the thing, read the comment to him on, on, on the live stream. Dude talking about your daughter on, 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 on social media with her butt out, with her ass hanging out, and you and Erica don't 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 have a problem with it. First of all, like DOC said, nigga, you don't even know me. You don't know how I felt about that. Now, this is where I differ with DOC at. Your daughter is not a child, bruh. I would have told that nigga, I, don't, shit, I ain't think nothing of it, man. She grown woman, bruh. You know what I'm saying? If that's what she won't do, that's what she do. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do with it. That would have been my answer. But the DOC didn't answer like that because he's one of them type dudes probably still see his 19-year-old girl as a daughter, as a child. She ain't no child, bruh. That's what me and him differ at. She's not a baby. But the point is, why is this dude even worrying about how him and Erica Badu feel about what their daughter doing? Why, why does he even care? How old are you, little boy? And DOC also pointed out that a lot of these dudes with these negative comments had American flags in their avatars. Excuse me. Had American flags on their avatars. He said that, that that's that kind of strange. That's because these red pill dudes are conservative, man. They consider themselves to be patriots. They ain't nothing but de facto white boys. They, they, they are black dudes that want to be white. Their whole mentality, their whole mindset is, a, is, is, is fashioned around what white people say, what white men do, what white people think. That's it. And that's the problem with them, man. They, they, they don't care nothing about black people. Jason uses y'all for financial reasons, man. He probably have a job somewhere because he don't want to show his face because he's more than likely for work. So he don't want, oh, he's either, he knows that if y'all look at him, y'all ain't gonna want to follow him no more. You know what I'm saying? He might know that, that his image don't, don't, don't match up. Y'all might take a look at him and be like, oh, man, this dude talking all that, man, go sit down somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why he ain't showing himself. But I'm gonna tell y'all, unless y'all want his fate, unless y'all want to be in his shoes in the future, y'all need to, y'all better jump ship right now. Not now, right now. Because that dude is leading y'all to nowhere. He is a grown ass man sitting online having the kind of conversations that you would expect a 12 year old to hold, a, an 11 year old to hold, an eight year old to hold. You don't expect no grown man pushing 50 to be talking like that. Or oh, do you know any no good women? Who cares, man? So what the girl sitting up there with her ass out, man? Who cares, bro? So what you got these Instagram thoughts doing this and that? Who cares, bro? I don't care about what nobody do with their life, man. You know what I'm saying? My, my mission in all of this, I'm trying to wake up enough brothers and sisters so we can actually start leading humanity to a different way of living. This system is crumbling and it's taking us down with it. And all we can do is sit around and talk dumb shit. We are like that band that kept playing as the Titanic sunk. We see them that still playing our same tunes, still talk about racism, still talk about jobs, still talk about economics, still worrying about who got their booty out, still worrying about traditional marriages. But this damn thing is sinking. 
and it's taking all of us down with it. We got a lunatic in the White House who's pushing for war. And all y'all could do is sit around and worry about who got booty pants on, bruh? Come on, man. Come on, bruh. Am I the only adult on YouTube? Am I the only grown man on YouTube, bruh? Is the black alpha the only man out here? See, that's why I call myself alpha. Because I knew I listened to these dudes for years. I'm doing this because I know y'all need somebody to do it. This is not something I want to do. I don't want to be doing this shit. This is something y'all need me to do. So what y'all need to do is y'all need to support this. Y'all need to thumb up, share the videos, shoot me a dollar or two so I can buy better equipment, so I can start organizing some real meetings, so that I can start testing out some of these theories of how we're going to get out this system. Now, I already got my money saved up to do most of that, you know, you know, to be honest. But, you know, if y'all want me to help, help me get there faster. If y'all want me to be the experiment of Crash Dummy, see how it goes so I can come back and give you the game for free, y'all get behind me, bro. I'm already out here. I'm going to do it. I'm going first. I'm not telling y'all to do something that I ain't going to do. I'm going to be the experiment. But y'all need to support this, man. Because I'm the only adult out here. That's why I'm alpha. I'm going first. I am the alpha. I'm not going to follow no... I'm going. I'm going to pave the way for you. But you got to show me that you are behind me. That you want this. That you want a better way of living, man. That you are comfortable being uncomfortable. Because that's how they got us. These, these little ticky-tacky luxuries that we have. I don't care about none of that stuff, bro. See, that's why me and my wife, we, 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 we bond so good together. Because true, she the kind that sleep on the bridge right there with me, but she don't care either. You know what I'm saying? She do, she, she's just like me in that sense. She wants out of this madness. I want out of this madness. But y'all are the band that continue to play as the Titanic sink. This thing is going down and all y'all doing is sitting online gossiping all day about some stars and entertainers. People who are living better than you, by the way. You can't criticize Erica Badu, bruh. These little 40, 50, 60,000 people that know you and who you are, DOC told you he ain't know who the hell you was. He never heard of you. There's a world out there. Y'all not special. Y'all not important. Y'all not popular. And he gonna talk about we are nationally known for our work. You're not nationally known for nothing, bruh. You're delusional, man. You're delusional. How many people seen that, that race war bullshit that you put out? Probably two, 3,000 people, man. 10 at the most. Your subscriber base. That's it. Craziness, man. You dudes got some kind of edifice com uh, uh, complex, bro. You're not, you're not that big, bro. You know what I'm saying? People don't know who you are. Come on, man. So, with all this stuff going on, y'all can sit around and gossip about people who lived a better life than you already? People who've already had better experiences than you will ever have already? You think you are shiny at the expense of Erica? Erica's out here living her life. She's doing her. She has done her. And you're sitting there listening to a dude whose life has already passed him by. He is done. He is done. The only way he get a woman now is if he changed his core views on life. And I can't see him doing that while y'all cheerleading for him. The worst thing that probably happened to him is the success of his YouTube channel. Because he ain't going to change now. Because y'all are now his wife. Y'all are now his spouse. He lives now for you. For your praise. For your thumbs up. For your super chats, for your donation. This is what he lived for. All of y'all got problems. Because we got bigger problems out here. We need to rise up as, as human beings, as gods, as leaders. We need to do much better. We have bigger problems out here, man. This stuff is going to hell in the handbasket, man. Y'all around here with this dumb shit. Talking about what people doing. To hell with that. Yeah, I know I'm using other people's video for con for, for, for content. Yeah, I am reacting to other people's stuff, but I'm not, don't get me wrong. 
I'm not really gossiping about nobody because I don't care what nobody do. You know what I'm saying? I did a video talking about Taz. I don't really care about what that brother do. I did a video before talking about Dr. Umar Jones. I don't care what nobody do, but Umar does. I just don't like the fact that Umar is viewed as a representative of me. I don't like that. So my job is to try to expose enough of us so we can start actively doing something about how we are represented on the world stage by these clowns. And that includes all of them. It's not just Umar. I got, you know, and truthfully, it's a lot of them that I haven't even gotten, gotten around to. You know, y'all think I just be, be on, you know, caping for, for this one or that. I don't do none of that, bro. I stand on truth. That's why I offend everybody, man. At some point, the truth is going to rub you the wrong way, too. Because we are all wrong. We are all wrong about something. But I've been doing this so long that I don't stand on the wrong side of anything no more because I have a baseline. So I'm, I'm saying that to say, when I talk about other people for content, I'm not doing it in the, in the sense where I'm judging them for how they doing their life. That's not, that, that I'll never do that. I don't care how they do their life. Prime example, I, I just seen a clip with Pearly Things. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't Pearly. It was that little pretty girl. Um, I can't think of she, what her name is. Little pretty chick, you know, I might, I, might, I might put it up later. But, um, she talking about this dude destroyed her whole argument. And the girls say how it seemed like you dudes just want virgins, women that just don't have no sexual experience. It kind of like, kind of has like a little predator type vibe to it, like a child predator vibe. And the dude said, well, suppose we say women are stupid for wanting a man that's tall, that, that has money, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, then he goes on to say how, you no know, men are criticizing the mean for their demands but women are not if a woman wants something it's like yeah girl you deserve that but if a man wants something it's different and she talked about uh the dude destroyed her argument pretty girl just it shows you that it don't matter it, it's it's mind-boggling bro but here's the problem he did not destroy her argument she just is too dumb to hold to her argument because nothing he said done anything to her point the point she was making is you dudes seem to want children. Y'all want the youngest girl with the least amount of experiences, and that's fine. That's fine. But the older you get, the more unrealistic that become, and that's the problem. And that's what I would say. It's fine what you want, but the older you get, the less realistic that's going to be. So what you go? So what's your answer? Sit online and try to and, and try to. And, and you think that you got some kind of moral right to judge people for how they live their life? Who the hell are you? And that's what you red pills don't do, man. Y'all don't understand that, man. Y'all are nobody. Nobody give a damn about what y'all saying online. But people are living. You think people will give back their experiences because you think that they should have took a different route in life so that you could benefit from it? They got plenty ugly square girls out there. Why don't y'all go get one and get married and shut the fuck up? Instead of worrying about all these pretty girls doing on Instagram and shit. The kind of thoughts y'all say y'all don't want. Stop worrying about them then. Stop following them. Stop looking at their videos. I don't even look at their videos. I'm a nasty ass nigga. I don't know what the hell they doing. I don't be on them channels looking at that stuff, bro. I have no interest in none of that shit, bro. Y'all need to stop it, man. They got a lot of square girls out there. Go find you one. But see, they not going to be attractive to you. You really want that hot hole, but you want that hot hole to be yours. But that hot hole got history already. She's She didn't just become a hot hole. She, she, I mean, how you think she got that way? She got history already. So, so you don't want that though. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to figure out a way around her. No, no, I'm saying that wrong. You're trying to figure out a way to how to get her. But I, I don't know what y'all I'm, I'm trying to rationalize. I, I'm, I'm talking and trying to think about how you dudes are rationalizing this shit in your head. I, 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 I can't figure that shit out, man, because it makes no sense. The bottom line is, man, the women are what they are, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want the hot hole, but she is what she is. If you want a girl that, like y'all described, go get one, bro. Go get one. You know what I'm saying? They out there. Go get one. But y'all are not going to do that. Y'all don't want them kinds of women. And truth be told, you couldn't even get that kind of woman because of your attitude. Because of the way you see life. The way you view life. Them kind of women ain't going to deal with you. If you get popular enough popular enough you know you might find some sycophant out there that that, that want to get with you just because she thinks that you're a star 
But truth be told, y'all ain't gonna be able to keep no woman, man, because y'all views on life are all messed up. And y'all keep listening to dudes like Jason. This dude is almost 50 years old, bro. Never been married, no children. And he sits online and, and talk about what some girl doing, how, how she wear her pants and whether or not this woman is ugly, whether or not that woman is attractive and there are no dimes above 40. Why in the hell does this dude even care? I mean, childish. I thought he was young. I told my wife the dude gotta be, I said he sounds like an older dude, but he gotta be about 25, 30 years old because there's no way an older dude is talking like that. Then I found out this nigga 48 years old. Blew my mind, bro. Blew my mind, bro. How in the hell can a 48-year-old, 48 48-year-old be that childish? And all y'all listening to him. Look, I'm done on that, bro. That, 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 that's my rant for now, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that shit alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better do better, bro. You know, y'all better do better, man. Until next time, I'm out. And don't forget, man. Look, y'all want to donate? Venmo at Black Alpha. Cash App at Black Alpha. PayPal at RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com. That's PayPal at RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com. Send a dollar or two, bro. Three or four, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't asking for big money. And I said, I just need to buy some equipment. And I need to start doing some legal paperwork. Getting ready to try to find this exodus plan. You know what I'm saying? Because this stuff takes work. And I'm, I'm a one-man army. I'm doing everything by myself. I do all the legal documentation. I do all the legal research. Yeah, this pookie does all that. You know what I'm saying? I do it all myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I am alpha. It's what alpha males do. I did a video talking about that. I did a video talking about that, man. Y'all need to check out the channel, bro. Look, I'm, I'm dropping real stuff here. This is the realest channel on YouTube. Y'all just ain't... It, Y'all just ain't realized it yet. This is the realest channel on YouTube. This is where the real black men and black women and others are going to be in the future. So support the channel. Drop a thumb up. Share the video. You know, like the video. Um, Throw a dollar at me, man. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'll see y'all the next one. I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Salam. So